Hey, what's up, people of the interwebs? I just want to try something out. I'm going to put a, like a text cipher thing on the screen. Use the text cipher in the comments to put something like a random fact about yourself using the cipher. So like the number one would correspond to the letter A. So like you could use that. And so the, the sentence would be in numbers, but we can use, we can decipher it using the cipher. And I just thought it's, a random yet cool way to engage with one another and just learn more about each other. So I'll do that. I'll put it in the pinned comment and you can check out my and see if you can decrypt, decipher my fact. <laughs> and yeah, uh, that'll be pretty cool. And maybe I'll put the, the funniest one or the best one in the next video. I'll shout it out the person. Cool. So let's get at it. Five simple ways to create consistently something that's really, really important. Um, I'm going to keep the point short and at the end is something that I think is, I honestly think is the biggest and the best way to just be consistent and help being consistent. So the f number one, do research, um, researching your topics or ideas provides inspiration and solidifies your thoughts points or creative direction it helps you see just an overview of what you're trying to say and it see it helps you see if you're on the right track or if maybe there's more information that's needed more that you can add to it and it is very inspiring when you see that there are other people that kind of have the same thought patterns as you or the thought trains or even just see things or that like can boost your ideas and your research and it can be really really helpful and it can just give you that extra bit of oomph to get get it done and yeah it also significantly boosts your confidence which contributes to the likelihood of you completing the project um something that i've done like for this video in particular because i wanted to post it for a while now but actually doing the research and putting some time into try, just trying to formulate the, the outline and my thoughts and just gather some other support, even just looking at like trying to find some decent B-roll and stuff, it's really helped and it's kind of like spurred me on like, okay, I can do this video and it is important. So yeah, number one, do research. Number two, have deadlines. It's really important to have a deadline. It doesn't have to be a hard deadline and you don't ne necessarily have to be really hard on yourself. It's just that deadlines encourage you to get stuff done. It's pretty simple. Remember to keep the deadlines realistic and achievable. Um, it also helps that if you have other people that can keep you to a deadline. Um, I often find that like with my YouTube, I if you've looked at anything of the channel, you see that I started it many, 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 many years ago. And then like three years ago, I tried to do it again, like to be consistent. And I just, I fizzled out so quickly because I didn't have deadlines. I wasn't giving myself deadlines. I was like, I can post whenever. And I just fizzled out because I wasn't doing anything. I didn't have anything like any set date to achieve something by. So it really is helpful to have deadlines, put it on a calendar, on a planner app, and have someone who can keep you to those deadlines and i mean forgive yourself have some forgiveness like if you miss the deadline uh, but do try as best as possible to to do to complete projects or parts of a project by a certain date so that's number two have deadlines number three this one is pretty cool pretty important i think uh in the in terms of creativity and what i'm researching and finding and feeling about creativity, this one is a very big one for me. So number three, forget about perfection. Chasing perfection more often than not leads to incomplete projects. There is no need to cut out every single silent moment or mistake in a video. There's no need to have the exact perfect design from the first run. Making mistakes can actually contribute to your creativity immensely. And I believe that mistakes are often more valuable and more important than perfection. I have a saying, which is incidentally the name of my first album. So there's a shameless self plug. I have an album, a lo-fi ambient music album coming out to all major streaming platforms in this month, actually on my wife's birthday. So yeah, this, it's the name of my first album. So maybe you want to remember this. Mistakes lead to masterpieces. 
And yeah, I just believe that mistakes, we can learn so much from mistakes and they are very, very valuable because we can learn what not to do, but also what we should do, what we can do better. I think it's really, really important and really helpful to forget about perfection. Maybe just give it the first run over, just do it, get it done and then have a look at it and see, okay, cool. Maybe there are some ways that I can improve this. So then you can try and make it better, but you don't have to strive for the exact perfect outcome. And especially starting out, if you're new at creating things, like for me, I'm new at YouTube and I was trying to get it perfectly done and I failed. And the thing is that kind of was pushing me back where I'm not creating anymore because I'm not reaching that level that of what I have in my mind. We have to put in the hours. And the only way to get to 10,000 hours is if you put in the first hour if you put in the second hour and so on. So put in the hours, forget about perfection. You can get there, but at the beginning, we all got to make mistakes. We all got to learn from what the, our faults, from each other's faults. So forget about perfection, just get it done. Number four, start small, grow big. This applies to ideas as well as projects. Small ideas can lead to more ideas and grow into bigger ideas. If you try going for something big first up, it may become overwhelming and crush your drive. Break larger ideas or projects into smaller milestones, like if you have a, a film idea or if you want to create an album. Like start small and grow big. So if you have a big project or you have a big idea, maybe see if you can break it down into smaller sections, smaller, more achievable milestones and you'll find that once you start to achieve the first milestone you'll get more inspiration and drive to get to the second milestone you'll just build up your own consistency so yeah that brings me to point number five and you'll see within all of the first four points there is a part of it that kind of leans heavily into this last point and yes it is a bit of a plug but i genuinely believe that it is the most valuable and incredibly important thing to have and that is number five join a community join a creative community if it if you're a painter join a community of painters if you're a writer join a community of writers photography whatever creative language you want to pursue and want to to um, express yourself in try find like-minded creatives who are further along the road and who are at the same level as you are and maybe even some who are behind you who are just starting out or even fresher or younger than you just find a community find like-minded people that can be a source of inspiration and encouragement and where you can also be an inspiration and encouragement it is really helpful and it just makes it gives you so much more drive if you are able to help others and if you are able to see others achieving things through your help, it kind of gives you the, the inspiration to try and make what, and reach what you are wanting to do. <coughs> and I say it's a plug because Antonio and I, um, we are trying to build a creative community called the Creative, the Creatives Collective, and we have a Discord um, server for that. And we really are trying to just encourage and inspire anyone who is like any creative i know we, we've posted quite a bit on photography because that's one of our passions but any creative like any creative language or art form if you're a writer poet <coughs> excuse me i know those are the same thing generally musician uh painter graphic designer like anything any with anything in the creative field i feel like we or i we want to have a community where we can challenge you and inspire you and just help you just to push through and to just keep creating. Maybe there's someone further down the road that's made more of all the mistakes. So they can help you like, these are the mistakes I've made or maybe try this or wow, that's really cool. You should try to take that, drag that out and see what you can get more from that. It's, um, yeah, just, it's really, really cool, really important. And I think very, very inspiring. Just seeing other people creating stuff inspires us to do the same and I mean we have challenges like we have the CC edit lab which is a photography editing challenge that we have every other week and just seeing like other people's edits of our images like just it just helps me see the different ways we can approach the same thing and where we can 
add or take away or how we can do something different. So join a creative community. <coughs> if you have one that's in your local area, in person is really helpful and really cool. And if you can do some meetups or join our online one, you, don't, you can be anywhere in the world. And we are really looking to build and encourage and inspire you to create more consistently and more important, just apply all these tips and anything else that we can help each other on and just make stuff. That's that's what's important, just to be consistent and to make stuff. So yeah, that's that's the point. Let me just summarize them quickly again or just give the do research. That's number one. <coughs> Re researching your topics or ideas helps build the foundation and helps spur you on and higher towards actually completing your project. It gives you inspiration. Have deadlines. Having a deadline helps you get stuff done. Forget about perfection. Oftentimes perfection can be a, a, something that is not a stepping stone. It's just too high of a step for us to reach where we need to build little steps. Forget about the skip perfection, just get it done. <laughs> also perfection, I believe, is often less valuable than mistakes. Start small, grow big. If you have a big idea or a big project, maybe break it into smaller components. Or if you have a big dream, break it into smaller milestones that you can use to work towards that, that milestone. If your milestone is getting 10,000 hours done to become a professional, start with the first hour, the second, the third. It's a step, a long climb. It's not you're just going to jump to the top. Start small, grow big. And number five, join a creative community like ours. You'll find it in the link in the description in my link tree the discord server the creatives collective community join it and yeah let's just encourage and inspire one another let's keep creating and um, i believe in this or just at any time art and creativity is intrinsic to human society to the growth and art often is at the forefront of challenging our perceptions and ideals and what's going on so let's keep making stuff let me know if you enjoyed the video um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and always remember just keep making stuff and uh, let's see um oh, i'm pretty excited to see your random facts in the text cipher in the comments so yeah share the video like subscribe all that really cool stuff if you i appreciate it really um just that you've put in an investment of time your time into the video and i hope that my thoughts and tips are also investing into you and encouraging you and inspiring you so yeah i really really appreciate it and last thing what do you think of the hoodie this is one of my designs um i've got a bit of the clothing range going on here in china and i'm trying to see if i can break it up or what so what do you think um yeah got this the other day super super warm and I'm loving it. Yeah, anyway, thanks guys. Darren out. Just make stuff.